so far we set up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight aquariums in the garage fish room. Today we're going to be setting up the rare Pleco Aquarium. What's goody? Back with another video. Guys, if this video gets two likes, I'm going to set up the baby piranha aquarium. Whoa. Crazy. All right, guys, check this out real quick. So let me explain to you guys what's going on in this tank real quick. Right here, we have what you call Pleco Hotels. After the show, it's the after party there. After the party, it's the hotel lobby. Yeah. These are Pleco breeding caves. Let's make love tonight. A lot of people don't know this, but Pleco's eat wood. Bruh. So I put this piece of driftwood in here. This black substrate is gonna make their colors pop. What's poppin'? Brand new wood just hopped in. Then right here on the back, we have the, the aqua clear hang on back. Then we have the full spectrum LED light. Then right here too, guys, have another Pleco breeding cage. We're gonna get this situated into the tank. Then I'm gonna show you guys where I picked up the rare Pleco from, and then we're gonna add those rare Pleco fish to this aquarium. I went to a couple of different fish stores trying to find the most exotic and uncommon Pleco fish for this aquarium. Guys, we are in luck. There are some super dope Pleco here. Oh yeah, nice. All right guys, there's one more place that we're gonna stop that. I'm pretty sure they're gonna have some dope Pleco fish as well. Guys, I think we hit the jackpot. What are you feeding these guys? Um, blood worms, frozen blood worms. I thought of nice. So you feed every single tank? Yeah. Nice cat. Yeah, guys, right around this corner here, like I said, we hit the jackpot. Dude, this is gonna be crazy. So basically, that was my journey, guys. Let's go see these fish, man. It's gonna be sick. All right, guys, we have a bucket full of exotic pleco. We're gonna add them one by one to the aquarium. Let's do it. First one we have here is the Royal Pleco. This one right here, it's another Royal. But this is the Royal Watermelon Pleco. 
pretty sure you can tell why it's called the watermelon pleco. Look at the markings and the coloration on this guy. This one right here is called the Medusa Pleco. Medusa Pleco. You see it has a bristle nose on it. Medusa Pleco. It's about seven inches. This one right here is the Clown Pleco. This guy is the zebra pleco. Not to be confused with the rainforest zebra pleco, although they're both black and white, the stripes and markings are entirely different. Zebra pleco. These guys right here are pretty unique as well. The next one that I'm going to show you guys. These right here are called rubber lip pleco. These right here are pretty dope too. These right here, dude, these are sick. These are snowball, snowball pleco. Look at that, check them out. Let's get these guys into the tank. So here's the thing, guys. These fish poop a lot. So they are gonna raise your bio load extremely high. So what I plan on doing is adding some more filtration to this aquarium. But let me let you guys check these plecos out, dude. This is pretty sick. Right now, these guys are scurrying up too much debris in the aquarium. Once this settles down, we're gonna get a close up look at these fish. That way you can see how awesome they are. question for you guys. I'm thinking about getting out of the flower horn game entirely. If I were to get out of the flower horn game entirely, who do you guys think I should keep in these aquariums? Check out these two tanks. All right guys, check it out. Thai silk flower horn. Look at the cock on that guy. Oh my God. Shark body. If I do decide to get out of the flower horn game, this is a 75 gallon aquarium. 
do you guys think I should put in here? That's if I decide to get out of the flower room again. Man, this guy is nice. Spin around here real quick. Golden base. This is just like a 50 gallon belt. What do you guys think, man? You think I should stay in the flower horn game? If I do, I'm not gonna get any more. These will be my only two. Look at the chin on that guy. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. Just let me know, man. Because I'm thinking about getting out of the flower horn game entirely. Then right over here, I'm gonna add a few females in here for this guy. I know he's in here pretty lonely. Maybe put another piece of driftwood right about there. Look at him, kind of sketchy. But yeah, I wanna add a few females in here for him. And this is a rescue. I don't know if you guys remember that or not, but if you're new to the channel, this is um, a rescue fish. Let me know, guys. All right, guys. That's my time, you know the rest. Until the next one, I-L-G-P.